A Detroit mother has a simple message tonight for the people who helped rescue her and her two year old daughter from an apartment fire. She wants to say thank you. And tonight she is sharing a horrifying ordeal with our Megan Woods and Megan joins us now live. Megan, she couldn't get to her child. The smoke was just too thick. It was just all too much. She's calling this a miracle. She says that uh, she was living on the eighth floor and we were here as firefighters were inside and she said she opened that window, pushed through the screen and saw no way out. But it was police, fire and a stranger who was also living in this building that helped them get out without a scratch. But I'm grateful because I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine leaving this place without my child. Tierra Blue says Tuesday around 5 a.m. She woke up to smoke and extreme heat. Her daughter was in another room. So every time I thought about going to get my baby, the smoke would just hit me in the face and I go out the window and I just I just would start screaming for help. She was screaming so hard. Her voice is still hoarse. The police was riding up John C. Lodge and I was screaming for help, help. Help and the man they put they bad back and they came through the alley and the officer they got out the car they asked they said what's wrong where you at in the meantime I heard her out my window saying the baby was in the fire you know she help 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 so I, I ran into the church I don't know how he got in my apartment I don't know at what point he got my daughter but he got my daughter before the the fire department did. I just did what I felt in my heart to do. You know, the baby was in there. If it was my kid, I'd go in there. That day, Tierra lost everything except her daughter. And for that, she can't help but to say thank you. It was nothing but God that had them people in tune. Because I was literally, my apartment is in the back of the building, and they were way over there, and I was screaming. And, they, and the man, he said he heard me. I thank him with my life because you saved me and my daughter to the fighter fighters that came in. I thank you with my life. Yeah, well, Javante Lynn is who saved her daughter. Firefighters are who led her outside safely, and firefighters are saying that they are still investigating the cause of this fire. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Boy, what a story. All right, Megan.